India, a land of rich culture and heritage, is not just about spices and Bollywood. It's also a country that has been making waves in the realm of space exploration. From launching small rockets to reaching the far corners of the solar system, India's space journey is a story of sheer determination, resilience and scientific prowess. Our tale begins in the early 60s, when the Indian National Committee for Space Research was formed under the leadership of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. The mission was simple yet audacious, to use space technology for the nation's development, and so began an incredible journey. The 80s saw India's first satellite, Aryabhata, take flight. Then came the INSAT series, which revolutionized communication in India. The dawn of the new millennium brought with it more ambitious projects, the most notable being the Chandrayaan and the Mars Orbiter mission. Fast forward to 2023 and the Indian Space Research Organization, fondly known as ISRO, has set its sight on a new celestial body, Venus, our mysterious and enigmatic neighbor. It has a very dense atmosphere that is made up mostly of carbon dioxide. The surface of Venus is also very hot, with temperatures reaching up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite its harsh conditions, Venus is a very interesting planet to study. It is thought that it may still be possible to find life in its clouds or on its surface. Codenamed Shukrayaan 1, a Sanskrit word that translates to Venus craft, this mission is India's first expedition to Venus. The mission will be launched in the month of December 2024. It aims to study the planet's atmosphere, surface and subsurface, and to understand the similarities and differences between Venus and Earth. It will also study how the energy from the Sun reaches Venus and how it affects the layer of charged particles around the planet. The mission will carry a small balloon that will be deployed in Venus's atmosphere to study its winds and composition. It will also help scientists to search for life on Venus. For India, this mission marks a significant leap in interplanetary exploration. It demonstrates the country's prowess in space technology and its commitment to contributing to the global understanding of the universe. But what does this mission mean for the world at large? Well, Venus is often referred to as Earth's evil twin. It has a similar size, mass and composition to our planet, but has evolved to become a scorching, inhospitable world. Understanding why this happened could provide crucial insights into climate change here on Earth. Furthermore, Shukrayaan is not just an Indian mission, it's a global mission. ISRO has extended an invitation to international space agencies to contribute scientific payloads. Sweden is also actively participating in India's upcoming Venus mission, Shukrayaan 1, and is contributing a number of scientific instruments that will be crucial in studying the planet. This promotes global collaboration and shared learning, reinforcing the idea that space exploration is not a race, but a collective human endeavor. In conclusion, India's first mission to Venus is not just about reaching another planet. It's about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge and understanding. It's about collaboration, exploration, and discovery. It's about a nation that started with small rockets and is now reaching for the stars. So as we look to the skies, let's remember, every journey begins with a single step. And for India, the journey to Venus is another significant step in its ambitious space journey. Keep looking up because the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning.